We're at Long Eaton um, and we're here for uh, uh, an eviction. Well, I know we comply with the FCA and the Law Society. Uh, no, no, uh, no. You're actually trading illegally on company's house. You are not registered properly as a company. You, you, you have been registered fraudulently on company's house. And this is a okay. acting sergeant of 18 years that's uncovered that. And I believe actually NatWest Bank as well are trading illegally on company's house. Because all, okay. the, all the fraud is now being disclosed. So me by telling you this is putting you on notice. As notice to, okay, prin no, notice to principal is notice to agent. Notice to agent is notice to principal. And I will be sending a bill in for loss of earnings for me, for myself today. They turned up, they stood down, they went away, Martin's still in his house, and that is all we want. It was peaceful and it was nice. Obviously a great result today. Yeah. yeah. Here with your granddaughter. This is my granddaughter, who lives with me at the moment. What do you want to say to the people watching this? We're fighting for their futures, yeah? We're fighting against such a corrupt world that affects these. And when people realise what's been happening to children, they're going to be so shocked, it's unbelievable. Because it shocked me, trust me. Yeah, I've been down loads of rabbit holes. And one of the worst ones is what happens to children when they go missing. So there's a lot of people here today recording with the cameras. Let me just turn the radio down. So I've currently got a lot of people here to prevent an eviction. I noticed a large white van pull up, so I went and had a quick word with him. He's the locksmith. I believe that the locksmith had turned up, um, and also Heath had said to him that, uh, what's going off here? Who are you? He said, uh, I'm a locksmith. And he said, and they're going to board this property up. Um, all I can say is watch last week's video, what happens with boarded up properties. The people take them back. It's unlawful. You can't just take another man's castle, especially with dodgy paperwork. Heath had stood in the middle of the road and said, There's a bunch of us here. Um, we are here to help prevent theft of somebody's property yet again. The locksmith has then turned his van round. He's now gone away and he said he's waiting for advice off the bailiffs as to what to do. The appointment was for 11am. 11, 11 people are waiting for the bailiff to turn up. Some people did wonder if this was the bailiffs, but obviously it's not. It's the bin men. And maybe the bailiffs are in the bin. Maybe they're coming disguised as Bill and Ben, the flower pot men. Yeah, this bin wagon has just took out a chunk of the tree. Obviously, it must have been a bit distracted because it's quite tight down here. But accidents happen. No doubt the tree will repair itself. Oh, is it Bannerman? Yeah. Oh, hello. <laughs> Catherine, Catherine keeps telling me all about you. It's never been about the money. I had a successful business going until they fraudulently shut this country down with a fucking COVID. Yeah, I was that close to semi-retiring and letting my daughter take over a busy that I fucking worked hard for. Yeah, to build it up. I wouldn't have known none of this if they hadn't done that, but I'm thankful they did because I fight for every single child in this world. Well said. Thank you. Oh, Michael, well done, mate. Thank you, mate. Thank you, pressure. Thank you. Does anybody know the time? It's 11.38, to so be what, precise. What are you now, then? Uh, well, I'm just about to ring uh, the courts now, uh, just to see where these bailiffs are, because we believe that they are now late for their appointment, and if you was late for your doctor's appointment or anything like that, they would turn you away. Yeah. So, uh, you know, we're going to turn them away regardless, yeah. uh, but we're going to ring the courts now to see where they are and uh, what process is going to be happening after this. So that was seven days' notice? Yes. Theoretically, this should give you another seven days' notice. Well, yep. of course, yeah. This is due yeah. process. OK. So, uh, yeah, so let's... Uh, Let's give them a call. My name is Phil Rose. I'm a Derbyshire County Councillor representing uh, Alfred and Summercoats Division. I used to live in Long Eaton, actually. Thank you for calling His Majesty's Courts and Tribunal, Family and Civil National Contact Centre. Yeah. Staff operating this line serve civil and family courts nationally and are not located at a specific court. Please remain seated until the next call for assistance and can only assist on the technical steps 
on responding to a case. So if they're not legally trained, what they're doing in this job? Advice, please visit <laughs> word www.gov.uk forward slash find hyphen legal hyphen advice. We record our calls. Come on, then. Training, as it helps improve the service slow, we deliver. If you want to know more system. about how we handle your personal data, visit www. I'd like to know where you share the personal data. uk forward slash hmcts. Here you can also find information on court addresses, opening times forms and help with fees. We are committed to providing a to make put the phone to call down call yeah. 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 And in return, we're still we waiting to get to the first menu. <laughs> and consideration to our staff. <laughs> HMCTS operates a zero tolerance policy. You're getting boring now, not mate. Tolerate abusive, aggressive, threatening or inappropriate. Oh, no, behavior. we're peaceful. I'm here just to observe um, to make sure uh, if, uh, if anything happens, it's done uh, lawfully um, and the police act uh, ideally under their oath. Um, and my experience is that often things happen that perhaps shouldn't happen, um, but we need to make sure um, people are protected and uh, any action is, uh, is lawful. It's a civil matter, this. Is that your mm. understanding? Well, that's my understanding, yes. Um, I'm very interested in in the police and, and on what basis they're operating when they come to an event like this. Obviously they're not here at the moment, so that's fine. There's, there's no reason for them to come. Um, so we'll just see what happens. Is it a hot topic in council at the moment, the way the police are turning up like this? Well, only among a couple of us. So do you think this is uh, <laughs> a debate that's worth having in council? Uh, it certainly is. It certainly is. Um, it's more of a debate uh, with the Constabulary, really, I think. Hello, your Hello. Number Hello. Hello. Not yet. That's all right, carry on. <laughs> <laughs> I know that they've been uh, following me, tracking me, monitoring me, stealing my car, stealing my van. I know that they've been doing all this. Um, and it's not bothered me because. I'm better than that. I raise my vibrations and um, I know the outcome of all this, mate, so I'll just keep going. Do you think it's possible that they've put you on an end line just to listen to music? Maybe, but we're going to get somebody else to call them as well. Hopefully we'll get through to them within the next half hour, 40 minutes. Like I say, they're always putting people on hold. Um, it's just to waste your time and keep you in a low vibration. Does anybody else want to ring off their phone because he, he's saying that my my number might be logged in their computer to not let me get through because obviously they've been they've been stopping me from moving forward with a lot of applications and etc etc et I, I would leave the phone ringing yeah. and let someone else do it as well i'll try to ring the courts for one hour we are sorry that we have not yet answered your call and are keeping you waiting our agents are all currently on other calls i don't think the bill is to come in today i don't think they're coming to you they've had their opportunity yeah. we know the seven day notice i reckon what they're going to do is they're going to do what they did to billy and just show up well theoretically if they've not turned up for the appointment they'd have to apply for an appointment yeah. in the court because this is the first point of mm. call well, that's how I see it, because that's not even a warrant, that's and actually a notice. And damages for any losses to any, um, you know, like income that you may have had today. Yeah. With these cancelled appointments, you can do that. Mm. Oh, are you okay? Can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear you. Thank you very much. And um, what's the purpose of your call today? Uh, yes, the bailiffs were supposed to be here at 11pm, 11am, uh, 11 uh, and they've not turned up. All right. Okay. Let me just um, load up the case now and I'll get back to you, okay? Okay, thank you. I'll just put you on hold whilst I have a look at the account, OK? I'm still on the phone to the courts and I've been on the phone for actually one hour and six minutes. Hey, okay, good afternoon. You're through to Sylvana at TLT Solicitors. Is that Mr Dewis? It is Mr Dewis. Thank you for calling in today. OK. So, um, I'll just let you know with our phone calls, they may be recorded for monitoring and training purposes. Yeah, well, I'm recording you as well. Good to hear. Thank you. Um, so, could you please confirm your full name? 
Martin Dewis. Uh, full name including any middle name. Andrew Bryan. Yep, thank you. And uh, please, can you also confirm for the property in question what the first line of postcode is? Thank you for that. And also, please confirm your date of birth, finally. Thank you. And the best contact number, can I just check? We have um, a number ending in 1741. Uh, no, I don't have a mobile no. number. I only get be uh, contacted yeah. by email. OK. Well, thank you very much for that. Right, OK. Um, so thank you very much for that, Mr Dewis. And how can I help today? Uh, well, your bailiffs were supposed to be here at 11am and they've not, mm -hmm. uh, they've not turned up. Right, so a bailiff did go so far to the property but didn't proceed because there was a number of people standing outside the property. Um, yeah, but that shouldn't have stopped them coming to the property. So, um, we have a note, um, recorded from a case handler saying that Bayless has left the site due to a number of protesters outside the property. Uh, no, there's no protesters no, here. No, no, no. No, there's peaceful people, but there's no protesters. Right. Okay. Um, so the, the bailiffs just saw a group of people standing outside the property. I, I don't know how many there were. Right. But, um, because of that, they didn't proceed. Oh, right. Why, are they scared of cats? Um, they're going to reschedule the eviction for another time. Uh, when, though? Because sure, uh, surely because they've missed their appointment, it now needs to go back to the court for another appointment. Yeah. yeah? Uh, at so least, and at least at seven court. days, yeah? I don't know exactly when the next eviction date will be, but they're going to ask the court to provide a new eviction date. Right, that's all we wanted to know, so long as they don't come back today. It won't be today, no. It may Can be I have that in me? Can you send that in an email to me as well, please? Right now. Right now. Yeah, I, can get an email, um, I can get an email sent out to you, Mr Dewis. Yeah, um, can you do it now so I can check I've got it? Um, it has to go through our admin team. It won't be done by myself. Right. I have to ask a colleague to do it. Yeah, well... I'll get it today. Yeah, but like I say, we, we are recording you, so it is recorded. That's fine. Yep. You're, you're welcome to record this phone yep. call. And you've got um, my email address, haven't you? I've got it as martinmedia.com. No, no, no. You, your uh, company's been uh, contacting me on Martin. Okay, we'll try another one for you. I think yep. that one there for yeah, you. Yeah, that, that's, I'll, that's I'll the correct one. Delete the Virgin Media one. Yes, please. So, Mark, um, so, thank you for providing your email address. That's all right. Okay. Um, I, I, whenever we send an email out to somebody, yeah. sometimes it may need to be password protected. Yeah. Can you um, think of a password you'd like us to use, if that's okay? Um, no, I'm all right, sir. Thank you. I should be able to get it. Okay. If we need to password protect it, the password will be your date of birth. Yeah. Um, Go on, then, make it that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Um, so, um, I'll get an email sent out to you confirming that today's eviction was cancelled yeah. and is to be rescheduled at a later time. Yeah. Okay? Okay, thank you. Okay. Can thank I ask you. you, do you work for LTP, the solicitors? I work for TLT solicitors. TLT, yeah. Yeah. Um, are you aware that they are actually trading illegally? I'm not aware of that. As their uh, registration on companies' ass is fraudulent. OK. Yeah. Uh, 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 well, actually, an a, a acting police sergeant of 18 years has uncovered this that fraud. So, actually, any legal documents that you serve are not actually lawful because you're trading illegally. Did you know that as well? Well, I know we comply with the FCA and the Law Society. Uh, no, no, uh, no. You're actually trading illegally on companies' house. You are not registered properly as a company. You, you, you have been registered fraudulently on companies' house. And this is a okay. acting sergeant of 18 years that's uncovered that. And I believe, actually, NatWest Bank as well are trading illegally on companies' house. Because all, okay. the, all the fraud is now being disclosed. So, me by telling you this is putting you on notice. As notice to, okay, prin no, notice to principal is notice to agent, notice to agent is notice to principal. And I will be sending a bill in for loss of earnings for me, for myself today. 
okay? Because I've taken time off work to do this and they've not turned up for their appointment, which they do attend appointments because yeah. they're appointed by the Crown. Okay. Okay. Can you check that notification? Fine. Fine. Be next. And you definitely send that email with that yeah. notification. Yeah. yeah. I will get an email sent out to you today. That's brilliant. Thank you for your time. Okay. You're welcome. Okay. Name. Oh, what's your name again? Sorry. My name is Sylvana. Sylvana. Have you got a surname, Sylvana? Do you want my surname? Yes, please. Yeah. Ventura. Ventura. Yeah. That's a good name. <laughs> Thank you. All right, then. Thanks for your time. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Just finally, then, <coughs> today, what's happening now? Uh, the eviction has been cancelled, so we've got another seven days. What's happening? You're going to get an email? Uh, they're going to send me an email, but we've got it recorded anyway. You've reported a fraud? I've reported the fraud. Which is unlawful. Which is unlawful. Well, so, going forward then, um, do you think they'll turn up again on another date? Uh, depends. It depends on them. If they see people here, I mean, nobody's broke any laws today. I think there's a point to make here. People are not protesting. No, we're not protesting. If you're protesting, the police can get involved. Yeah. They see it as a potential... Well, we've had no police cars down here or anything, so... I haven't seen any protesters no. today. I've seen observers. I've got friends here, and I've got observers, and everybody's been peaceful. So... I've got message to the people watching. When you understand all the fraud and corruption that's going off in the world, yeah, I didn't know any of this four years ago, but it all leads to child trafficking, yeah, and satanic ritual sacrifice of our children. This is why I'm fighting. It's not about the money. It's never been about the money. I had a successful business going until they fraudulently shut this country down with the fucking COVID, yeah? I was that close to semi-retiring and let my daughter take over a busy that I fucking worked hard for, yeah, to build it up. I wouldn't have known none of this if they hadn't done that, but I'm thankful they did because I fight for every single child in this world. Well said. Thank you. Oh, Michael, well done, mate. Thank you, mate. Thank you, pleasure. Thank you. And now the bailiffs are too frightened because they're seeing the people standing here. Now, just imagine if we all stood together, these people would never exist any longer. Yeah? Everything that we've been giving to you is factual. This is not no conspiracy. This has nothing to do with anything else. We need to shut these banks down and we need to shut these corrupt courts down. Look what they're doing. I mean, they're telling us that they're not even legally trained. Please be advised that our staff are not legally trained. What could you say to the people watching this? I'd say, well, um, watch your back. Back, That's I what I would say. Well. I think we should all watch our backs. These people are criminals. They're just putting anybody behind a desk, maybe can't even speak a word of English, and, um, um, you know, they're not answering. And a great result, because uh, I'm actually going to end the call now, because... Can I finish your sentence off? Yeah. The courts are a waste of time. I think the people standing by All Peaceful gives uh, a very strong message to anybody that turns up that we've had enough of this. We have had enough of being ruled by a government that we put in in the first place that think they've got power over us with bits of paper and words spoken. It's not right. This has to stop. There's a rapid response long heaton. Do you think rapid response should be started up in every other community? I think every village should have rapid response. I think there should be at least 20 to 30 people in it. The biggest problem we have with rapid response is most people are caught in the hamster wheel of having to go to work to earn the money, to pay the mortgage, to stop these people taking the house off them. It's all about the money, but the money doesn't exist. And when people get that right, yeah, it's just a promise to pay. It doesn't discharge a debt. Remember that, people. Well, promise to pay in itself. You promise to pay means you haven't paid. That's it. And all you're doing with your signature, sign of nature, yeah, which is your signature, you are agreeing that one day you will pay. <laughs> and they're saying, if you don't pay, we'll take it away. The only thing I can tell the people is question absolutely everything you are told by any authority. They are not authority.
You are the authority, the people have the power.